Okay, class. Um, before we start our lesson for today, mag-pray muna tayo. Sa the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those against against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Trinity in one God, have mercy on us. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good holy and good morning, class. So, how are you today? Okay, very good. So, our topic for today is all about the properties of equality, identity, and operations. So, let's start. So, so the first property class is the commutative property. So, when you say commutative property, states that the order of the numbers may change and the sum or product will remain the same. So, this property applies to both addition and, sub and multiplication. So, like for example, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Or A times B is equal to B times A. So, kahit balibalik ta rin mo, yan, mo man yung dalawa, is same pa rin yung kalalabasan. Or remain pa rin yung number niya. So, sample. 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. So, di ba? Walang, walang pagbabago kahit balibalik ta rin mo man yung dalawang numbers is nagre-remain pa rin yung variables niya or yung answer niya. Then, so the next property is the associative property. So, when you say associative property, states that the grouping of numbers can change and the sum or product will remain the same. So, this property applies to both addition and multiplication. So, addition and mu multiplication lang yung i-apply natin. So, di ba from the, from the state, grouping of numbers can change and the sum product will remain the same. So, yung group ng numbers niya is nagbabago. Kahit nagbabago yung group numbers niya is same pa rin yung kalalabasan or remain pa rin yung variables niya. So, like for example, A plus B plus C. So, is equal to A plus B plus C. So, di ba? Kahit nasa labas yung, ay kahit nasa labas yung C, then the next group, then the next naman is nasa labas naman yung B, is same pa rin yung kalalabasan niya or nagre-remain pa rin yung variables niya. Kahit, kahit, San sa dalawa yung nasa labas, kahit either A or either C, is same pa rin siya. So, like for example, 2 plus 4, so plus 5, nasa labas yung 5, is equal to, then nasa labas naman yung 2, 2 plus 4 plus 5. Kahit isolve yan class, same pa rin yung kalalabasan. Remain pa rin siya. Kahit nag-iiba yung groupings niya, is nagre-remain pa rin yung answer niya. Then, the next property is the substitution property. So, when you say substitution property, this property allows you to simplify algebraic expressions for different values. So, you substitute the given value of the variable into the equation and solve it. So, Dito naman, class, is nagkakaroon na tayo ng substitution. So, when you say substitution, substitute mo lang yung variables or yung, uh, yung variables ng, na, ng x. So, like for example, y is equal to 2x plus 4. Then, if your x is 5. So, when, you, when your value of x is 5. So, substitute mo lang yung 5 niya. So, y is equal to 2x plus 4. So, ano yung x niya? Di ba? Yung, yung variable na x niya is 5. So, is substitute mo lang. 
So y is equal to 2 times 5 plus 4. Then y is equal to 10 plus 4. Then y is equal to 14. So di ba, sinabsitute lang na ang value ng x para makuha natin yung um, answers na, na given of the equation. So, then next, identity, identity properties. So, when you say identity properties, shows how a given is itself when multiplied by 1 or added to 0. So, these are important concepts to understand when solving single and multi-step equations. So, the 1 and 0 act like mirrors. So, from the word act like mirrors. So, kahit ano i-multiply mo sa 1 or i-add mo sa 0 is same pa rin yung number or yung values na kalalabasan. Like, for example, n minus 1 is equal to n. n plus 0 is equal to n. So, gamitin natin ang numbers. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 5 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, di ba? Kahit anong numbers ang i-multiply into 1, kahit anong numbers ang i-add into 0 is same pa rin yung kalalabasan niya. Nagre-remain pa rin yung numbers na nimumultiply into 1 and 0. Yun yung identity properties. Then, um, distributive properties. So, when you say distributive properties of multiplication, so, fix a number and multiplies it by everything inside the parenthesis. So, the property works over addition and subtraction. So, nag-works na siya into addition and subtraction. So, diba, kahit anong group na, um, kahit anong groups doon na nakalagay sa parenthesis, is i-distribute lang siya sa, sa yung nasa labas na, value. So, um, like for example, A, open parenthesis, B plus C, close parenthesis equals to, so yung A, didistribute siya sa B and sa C. Kaya nagkaka, kaya nag, kaya ang kalabasan is A, B plus A, C. Kasi yung A, didistribute mo lang siya sa B, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Didistribute mo siya isa-isa. So, AB plus AC, same pa rin siya sa subtraction. I-distribute mo lang yung A isa-isa sa B and C. Kaya, AB minus AC. Um, like for example, dyan, 2 open parenthesis 3 plus 4, close parenthesis is equal to, so, distribute na yung 2 sa 3, sa 3, so, 2 times 3 plus, distribute naman yung 2 sa 4, so 2 times 3 times plus 2 plus 4. So, dyan sa baba naman, next example, 2 is open parenthesis, open parenthesis 5 minus 2, close parenthesis is equal to, so dis distribute na yung 2 sa 5, then distribute din yung 2 sa, sa 2, kaya 2 times 5 minus 2 times 2. So, distribute lang kung ano yung nasa labas na variables or numbers, i-distribute mo lang siya isa-isa nung nasa loob. So, yun yung distributive property of multiplication. Then, the next property is zero property of multiplication. So, when you say zero property of multiplication, i-multiply mo lang siya into zero. So, simply stated, any number times 0 is equal to 0. So, kahit anong numbers na i-times mo sa 0 is 0 pa rin yung kalalabasan niya. Kasi nga, 0 property of multiplication. Yun yung, um, yun yung ano niya, yung ano naman ng 0 property of multiplication. Kahit anong Numbers na i-times mo sa 0 is nag equal to 0 pa rin siya. 
Then the next property is the multiplicative inverse property. So when you say multiplicative inverse, so this property is helpful when solving equation where there is a fraction attached to a variable by multiplication. So the normal inverse operation for multiplication is division. So, but in this case, you will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction. So, ito naman siya. Nagkakaroon na siya ng uh, multiply both sides. Nagagamit din siya ng reciprocal. So, yung one half class is equivalent niya is one. So, given na yun. So, kapag one half is equivalent niya is 1 kasi nga dyan plus o 1 half times 2 is equal to 1 so diba ka i-times mo yung 1 half i-times mo yung 1 half sa 2 so 1 times 2 is equal to divided by 2 is equal to 1 so yun yung equivalent ng 1 half so example 1 half n minus 3 is equal to 4 so 1 half n minus 3 so, saan galing yung plus 3 na dinagdag sa side ng negative, sa side ng minus 3 and sa side ng 4? So, sabi, sabi nga doon, we, uh, you will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction. Kung ano yung first number na, na nasa equation, yun yung i- i-multiply natin both sides sa numbers. Kaya, nagkakaroon doon na plus 3 at sa kabila naman, may plus 3 na naman. Kasi nga, yung unang number is negative uh, 3. So, kaya, nagkakaroon na siya ng multiply both sides. Kung kahit anong numbers na nauna, yun yung i-multiply by itself do pati doon sa kabila. Kaya, 1 half n is equal to 7. Kasi nga, yung negative 3 plus 3 dyan is cancel na yan. Then, 4 plus 3 is 7. So, so doon tayo sa given na 1 half times 2 is equal to 1. So, yung 1 half natin is, i-multiply siya in, sa and, and 2 then yung 2 naman is multiply into 7 so 1 half n times 2 is equal to 7 times 2 so cancel na naman yung 1 half and 2 natin kasi, kasi nga doon 1 half and 2 is equivalent na siya into 1 so 1 times n so n then 7 times 2 is equal to 14 so, yun yung tinatawag natin class na multiplicative inverse property. Then, next property is the transitive pro property. So, when you say transitive, if one quantity equals a second quantity and the second quantity equals a third quantity, then the first equals the third. So, um, like for example, if A is equal to B, and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. So, um, ka, uh, kahit anong nam, uh, ang value ng B is nagre-remain pa rin siya. Kaya, kapag imumultiply mo siya into, like for example, dyan class, oh, if 1,000 millimeter is equivalent niya, is 100 centimeter and the 100 centimeter is equivalent niya is 1 meter so then 100 millimeter is equivalent to 1 meter same pa rin siya kahit nag-iiba yung yung numbers or variables niya is same pa rin yung ano niya yung values ng ng ano na ng ng kalalabasan niya. Diba? 1,000 millimeter is equivalent to 100 centimeter. Then, yung 100 centimeter naman is equivalent to 1 meter. 
So, kapag, kahit nagkaiba yung dalawa, is same pa rin yung values niya. Yan yung transitive property niya, class. Then, next property naman is symmetric, symmetric property. So, when you say symmetric property, if one quantity equals a second quantity, then the second quantity equals the first. So, if A plus B and is equal to C, then C is equal to AB. So, like for example, 10 is equal to 4 plus 6, then 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Kahit ano yung, um, um, ano yung, same pa rin yung kalalabasan ng answer niya, kahit balibalik ta rin mo pa rin, yung first quantity and yung one quantity and second quantity is equals to first quantity. Kahit balik ta rin mo man silang dalawa, is same pa rin yung kalalabasan niya o yung answer niya. Yan yung symmetric property class. Then, the last property class is the reflexive property. So, when you say reflexive property, any quantity is equal to itself. Diba? From the word itself, equal. So, like for example, A is equal to A. Then, A plus B is equal to A plus B. So, magkatulad pa rin sila. Kung ano yung nasa first quantity, same pa rin yun nasa second quantity. Magkaparehas pa rin sila. Remain pa rin sila. So, class, yun lang yung topic natin for today. So, I hope you can understand and meron ako nabigay na knowledge sa inyo. So, tomorrow, I will give you a quiz from those properties of equality, identity, and operation. So, sana meron kayong natutunan. And yun lang for today. So, good day and good holy. So, bye class.